We're going to look at Bootstrap and why Bootstrap is something that you would want to know anything about. And the important thing with Bootstrap is it is a way of formatting your content that uses CSS, so cascading style sheets, that is already pre-built for you. So all you need to do is add certain classes to content or to HTML and it will format the information on the page in a much better way than just having it running straight down the page and being difficult to read or really boring to read. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. First it will be alerts, then we're going to have a look at grids. And you would have seen both of those and understand a bit about the responsiveness of grids from the main part of the course. So let's get into the alerts part of it. So we're going to go into uh, Bootstrap to start with. So let's go and have a look at the alerts page. And these are what alerts look like. They're quite simple, quite straightforward, and nothing complicated about them. Uh, they just allow you to put a box around some content in different colors. Now to do that, all we need to do is apply class equals alert and then alert dash whatever the type of alert is. So a primary alert will be the primary color for the site. Secondary will be the secondary color. Success is usually green, danger red, warning, a yellow, orange color. Info, alert info is generally a blue. Could be different though depending on the site. It means that your content is transferable to other sites that use Bootstrap in them. So other Moodle servers and the majority do use Bootstrap. There's especially now with version 4 coming out which is built very much on Bootstrap. How you get to use these. So let's jump to our page, our settings, and let's try out what this really means. We're going to start with the obvious one, which is just the word note. This is important. So we've typed that text in. If we go into the code, you can see here in the code that we have note, this is important. Now it's put in there text align left LTR. We're going to just remove all of that. We don't need it. We have a paragraph. So this is a bracket P bracket. So it's a P tag or paragraph tag. All we need to do is go back to bootstrap and we're going to use the um, just the warning one maybe. Let's look for warning. So all we need is the class equals alert alert warning. And now this is wrapped in a div, but we're going to use a paragraph. So we're going to go back to our page, paste that in. Let's have a look at the page now and you can see straight away it says, note, this is important. If I want to, I can make the text bold. Uh, I can also use italics and uh, things like that. What I can't do though, is if I press enter, it creates a new one. So if you do need to have multiple lines, inside one of these and you're using a paragraph, you need to hold shift enter and then type the text in and that will give you multiple lines. So shift and enter, hold shift, press enter. So that's what an alert looks like. Let's just save it and preview. There we go. There's our alert. 